Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the subplot function. So the main purpose of using this subplot function is used to represent a multiple plots in a single figure. So in the first introductory sessions, I have said about the figure. So figure is the place where we are drawing the plots, right? So in the same figure, we can have the multiple plots. So this is one plot and this is one plot. So like this, we can have a multiple plots in a single figure. So like this, if you want, if you want to get like this, we have to use the subplot, subplot function, subplot function, right? So we need to use subplot. And here we'll take the three arguments, three arguments. The subplot function will take the three arguments. First one represents the row, second one represents the column, and the third argument represents the index. See, here R represents the row. How many rows we want to display? Okay. And C represents the how many columns we need to represent. And I is the index of plot. Index of the plot. For example, if you want to display in such a way, see, in the same manner, this implies two plots are represented in a single row. You can observe, this is a single row. So this is called a row and this is called a column, right? So we are having single row and two columns. Single row and two columns. So we have to write it as subplot, subplot, one row, two columns. One row, two columns, right? See. And what about the third one? Index. So this, this index will be 1 and this index will be 2. Right? This index will be 1 and this index will be 2. So in order to represent this one, we will write subplot of 1 row, 2 column, 1 index. And here we will write subplot of 1 row, 2 column, 2 index. Okay? So first row, 1 row, 2 columns. 1 row, 2 columns, first one. 1 row, 2 columns, second one. So, if you want to represent it in another way, see, for example, if this is a figure, and we need to represent the plot, this is one plot, and this is one another plot. This is another plot. Okay? See. So, this is one plot, and this is another plot. So in order to represent this one, the subplots must be, so here how many rows? Two rows. We are having two rows and one column. So this is only one column, right? So that's why in order to represent this one, in order to represent this one, subplot of one row, sorry, two rows, one column, okay, and index one. Two rows, one column. So I will write this side, okay, subplot of two rows one column, one index and this should be represented as subplot of two rows, one column, two index, two rows, one column, right? So automatically how many plots we can represent that will be of row into column, row into column. So if you observe here row into column that means two. So two plots can be represented by using this subplot and if you want to represent more, if you want to represent more. So let me explain about that thing, right? So I, don't worry about this. You know, after this introductory part, I will explain you by executing the code, right? So if you want to represent in such a way, so this is one plot. This is another plot. This is another plot. This is another plot. So this is completely one figure. This is completely one figure. So if I want to plot four plots, okay, if you want to draw four plots in a single figure, so you can observe how many rows and how many columns. So there are two rows and two columns. 
So you can have the sample plot of two rows, two columns, index one. So this will be the plot of this one. Okay, the first index. So this is the index one, index two, index three, and index four. So here don't use a zero. Index zero is not there, right? So index will start with one itself. So rows and columns, how many, I know how many plots we can represent? Two into two. So four plots we can represent. We can represent four four plots. It max of four four plots. So and here you can give the plot function. Here can, you can apply the plot function, and this is one. Okay. And again, subplot of two rows, two columns, second index. So it will represent this one. Again, use the plot function. So give x comma y. Here give x comma y, right? X axis coordinates and y coordinates, y axis coordinates will form this plot, right? And this is the second one. And similarly, subplot of two rows, two columns, and third index. Give the plot. So syntax is same. The plot syntax is same, right? So syntax is same. We can apply the line line uh, properties like line width, line color, and all these things. Everything is common. You can also apply the grid also, right? So subplot two comma two comma three. That means two rows, two columns in that the third index. Two rows, two columns in that it's a third index. And similarly, that represents this one. That represents this one. And similarly, subplot of two rows, two columns, fourth index. Two, two rows, two columns, fourth index. That is this one. So here you can apply the plot function. Okay. In all these cases, the plot function is same. The plot function is same. So x and y can be different. The x y can be different. So here you can write some x one comma y one, and here you can write some x two comma y two. Here you can write some x three comma y3 and in the fourth plot we can write x4 comma y4 right so like this we can represent four four plots so if you use some subplot of 2 comma 3 okay 2 comma 3 comma 1 so 2 comma 3 means total six plots will be there so two rows and three columns so two rows and three columns means like this so here one two three four five and six so this is the layout okay this is the layout so subplot is used to design a layout for the plots in a figure so this is the layout designed for this one so you have to change the index so index one means this one index two index three index four index five index six right and if you apply the title title function so that title will be given to that particular plot so if you are using some four and you are using some title this title will be displayed here itself and if you are using some three and here if you are using some title here we'll get the title so in order to get the major title major title we are having the function called sup title sup title that means a super title right if you give the super title here see if you give this super title a sample that will be displayed here itself sample sample right so super title is used to give the title major title for the complete figure and this simple title function is used to give the title for a particular plot so just give uh, uh, understand the difference this is a title which was used to give the title for a single plot but sup title that means a super title is used to give the title for the complete figure and also if you are observing this title and the x label y label all these things you can apply and for all for all those x label y label and these titles you can also apply the font properties so this is a text so we call it as a font so we can apply the font property so in the previous session we have discussed about the font properties so we need to create a dictionary and we have to pass to the font dict parameter so that the font uh, the complete dictionary the style size color will be applied for the particular fonts and if you are plotting some lines we can apply the line properties like line size uh, sorry line width line style line color all these things we can apply for this one right so this is the uh, function of subplot so subplot will give the layout of a plots how to draw the multiple plots in a single figure so it takes the three parameters first one is a row second one is a column 
uh, column and the third one is the index of that particular plot and here the index will start with the one, one itself okay it will, it will start with the one itself so if you are uh, using the subplot function so at max the number of plots can be designed is r into c that means a rows into column a rows into column right so hope you understood this uh, subplot concept now uh, we'll move on to the system and i will show you by executing a small program uh, demonstrating this subplot function so we can see the different layouts drawing uh, different plots in the single figure so we'll see the two by two and one by two and all these things we'll see on the system so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen the subplot function in matplotlib so it takes the three arguments and this subplot function is used to draw the multiple plots in a single figure right and this takes uh, this function will take the three arguments the first one uh, specifies the row second one specifies the columns and the third argument will be the index of the current plot so i will show you the implementation so that if you are having any doubts it will be clarified so before that we have to import the uh, pyplot module in the matplotlib library so for that i am using the command from matplotlib matplotlib import pyplot as plt so i am using the alias name so that i have to call the function with the help of plt right now i will take some arguments some x is equal to uh, let us take some arguments some uh, uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay i will take up to 5 or 4 and then uh, represent the y y1 is equal to give some values a random values okay i have taken some values and uh, i will use another axis another y coordinates so 40 50 20 30 and 10 and i will move with the plot function plt dot plot of x comma y1 so automatically it will display the object so i will show you how it will represent see it will give a single diagram right and if you give the one more parameters like uh, x comma y2 it will represent the two two plots so if i want to get these uh, representations in different plots then i have to go with the subplot plt dot subplot of here we need to give the argument so how we have to represent the multiple diagrams if i want to represent the two plots at a time in a single row in a single row so first we have to represent a row so i want to represent in a one row with the two plots with the two plots and in that the first index is this one this one right you can observe this is a one plot and if i want to plot one more thing so plt dot subplot one first row second two columns with the second index so use the plot plt dot plot x comma y2 you can observe we will get the two diagrams in the same figure we will get the two diagrams okay this is completely one figure with the multiple plots and if you use the same thing if you use the same thing for the third plot if you can observe here if, if you go with the third index automatically we will get an error will get an error because we are saying that one row with two columns one row with two columns right so that means only two plots will be applicable two plots in a single row the index one and index two but we are trying to give the third index which is not available so that's why we will get an error right and if you want to provide the third plot go with the each row two plots right so go with the two rows at two plots two rows two plots so automatically we'll get four plots totally four plots so two rows two plots first index two rows two plot uh, two rows two columns uh, in the second index and two rows two columns of the third index right so i will take y3 y3 is equal to um, i i will take uh, see the same elements i will take say 30 20 50 40 10 and if you execute so we'll get a three plots can observe here right so i can also give the fourth plot i can also give the fourth plot because two into two two rows two columns means total four so i can give the fourth plot so fourth plot with 
y4 four, fourth coordinates we have to give the y4 y4 is equal to some 40 20 10 50 30 so if you execute this one see we got a different plots right so hope you understood this one so if you want to represent three rows i mean one row three columns one row three columns so you need to represent here one and three with a one one index one and three with the second index okay similarly one with the three with third index and these are the nothing but uh, comments we need to use a comments because the fourth slot will fourth plot will not be drawn okay so here you can observe right three plots one row three columns right so hope you got this and this is how we can represent the multiple plots in a single figure in a single figure and now how to give the titles so in order to give the title you just go with the title so plt dot uh, title function so plot one right and use the same thing for plot two also use the same thing for plot two so this is plot two so i'm giving the individual titles individual title this is a plot three and go with the plot four So you can get the different titles and if you want to get a main title okay if you want to get a main title so go with this a super title okay just go with the super title right so i will represent here the plt dot super title multiple plots if you execute you can get this as a major title main title and these are the different titles these are the different titles so this is how we can draw a multiple plots in a single figure so we can represent the three columns i mean three arguments for the subplot function so first argument represents the rows and second argument represents the column and the third argument represents the index of the specified plot the current plot right so hope you understood this one how to draw the multiple plots in the same figure and also giving the titles so main title giving the main title and uh, the title for each and every slot uh, diagram right so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this sub plots concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.